What's up guys, John here from Titan. Today I want to talk about some Valentine tips for us guys out there. Because you know what, you know, girls, you know, they love Valentine's Day, but us guys are usually the ones that plan the Valentine's Day. And we supply the gifts usually in most circumstances. So I've done this for at least 13 years with my wife. And uh, you guys might be doing this for your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, or just for some date or hot date that you're gonna go on for Valentine's Day. So some different things, all right? So everybody thinks that Valentine's Day, you have to spend a whole bunch of money. Now, in my earlier years, you know, I didn't have as much resources as I have today. So, you know, you have to think outside the box. You know, what can you really get somebody or your girl um, that's gonna really just impress them, right? Because you wanna impress them. You want them to be happy with what they're getting. You know, they might say they're happy with anything, but at that point, you wanna really just make it pop. So, let's talk about some of the different ways that I used to get Valentine's Day hooked up for Cherise. So the first one was, was I would go look for flowers. Now, here in Florida, they got people on the side of the road that have flowers, you got Publix, you have all these different places where you guys can go get you know, economically priced roses. Get them roses, guys. Unless they tell you they hate roses, get them roses. If they tell you they like a specific flower, then get them that flower. Listen to them, okay? Talk to them beforehand. And don't ask them Valentine's Day what kind of flowers they like. That's just cheesy. So just make sure, listen up. If you've been with your partner for a while, you probably know what kind of flowers they like. If you don't know what they like, go with roses. Roses and chocolate and a little bear. That's probably your best bet, and you can get this you know, at a decent price in different places, okay? You don't have to spend a ton of money to do it. It's more the thought that you put into it. And with these three things, you can get a little teddy bear, get some chocolates, and get some roses. The key ingredient to these three things is getting a card. The card is key, man, I'm telling you. So get a card that if you don't know how to be romantic, that card expresses the way that you feel about that person. Or, hey, listen, if you're great with words, write something on there, very specific for your partner. That will, they'll love it even more, I promise. Like, they'll, they'll take that and they'll keep that card for the rest of their days if you make a great impression on that card. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to be paragraphs of things. One or two sentences, or maybe that little uh, cute name that you call her or him, at that point, you guys can write it in there and they're gonna love that, I promise. So, those three things with the card, that's the key. The next thing after that is dinner, right? Or lunch. And so, it just depends on you know what your guys' schedules are. Some people might have to work night shifts, some people don't. So, pick out a meal of what you're gonna do, either lunch or dinner, and then make it special. So, if you don't have a lot of money and you can't go to that famous, fancy restaurant, then at that point, cook an awesome meal. Cook it something that they like or get takeout from somewhere, okay, that has a decent meal. At that point, you guys can have a candlelit meal somewhere. Be romantic, go get some candles. They're very cheap. Lighter, bam, you're done. You can have it at the house. You guys can do a picnic, right? Just depends on where you guys are at in the, the, you know, the country right now, if it's snowstorming or not. But here in Florida, you can pretty much do it all. You can go out to the beach, you can go out to a park, that's another big one. You can be at your house, you can be in your backyard for all I care. If you lay down that blanket and you make a little picnic out there, I guarantee they're gonna think it's that much more romantic. But you can always do it at your house too. Candle lit dinner per se or lunch, maybe a glass of wine. You know, at that point, you guys are gonna really, really impress them and show them your romantic side. And if you're not romantic the whole year, this is your one time to be romantic. The one time. Just take a couple hours from your day to plan these things, put it together, and at that point, you guys will get a great result, I promise you, from your partner. They're gonna love you for this, and they are going to remember it. And now with, with cell phones and all the social media platforms, they're gonna put it all over Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and all their friends are gonna be jealous because you did it right, okay? All right, so the next thing after that, if you really wanna impress your girl and you have some resources, there's some different places where you can get more higher-end flowers. Okay, like Venus Le Fleur. That's kind of where I go. And at that point, those roses last for a whole year. They come in a box, they smell fresh for a whole year. They're real roses too. And it's a little bit more of an expensive route, but this is gonna last a whole year. So you can place it inside your house, their office, and they're always gonna be thinking of you because of those flowers. Next thing after that, plan a little getaway. 
So if you have a family or you have kids or whatever it is at your house, plan a little getaway to some little hotel um, that's nice, right? First off, you want it to be nice, but where you guys can have some alone time and you don't have to worry about people banging on your door or kids running in your room, plan this. Go there earlier, get some rose petals or flower petals, put their name in it, make a little heart on the bed. This, I promise you, is gonna get you the brownie points that you need for later on in that night. So usually, you know, at this point, you have the dinner set up, you have the flowers, the little teddy bear, and now you have the little location set up. So after you're done with dinner, right, and you have all this great stuff done as far as giving her the presents, you guys go to the location, she then sees that little heart in flowers, maybe you know, a glass of champagne or, or, or some, some wines there. At that point, you'll get the benefits because Valentine's Day could be you know, a great day for you. You know, at that point, they can lower down inhibitions and maybe do some things that you might like. So these are just some tips and tricks from me that I've experienced through my years. There's a lot more, but I just want to hint on a couple little different things to set you guys up for success. So I hope you guys have your Valentine's Day already planned. If not, get on it now, okay? And enjoy your Valentine's Day. It's for both of you guys. So you guys can love and take a relationship to a whole different level. I'm John from Titan. I hope these tips and tricks helped you guys. bedroom enhancement, libido enhancement. There's just so many options out there. And here at Titan Medical Center, we have some powerful combinations of these things. So I just want to give you guys a breakdown of some of our different therapies we offer for male and female libido enhancement and the ingredients that are in them so you guys understand how they work with your body, okay? So let's talk about the different ingredients. The first one, sildenafil, which is generic for Viagra. This works on the vascular system, pushing the blood flow down to the extremities. Tadalafil, which is the generic for Cialis. It works the exact same way on the vascular system. Then you have PT-141, which is awesome because it works on the nervous system for libido enhancement. We also have oxytocin. Oxytocin is a bonding hormone, so it's gonna bring you guys closer together. The next one, arginine. So arginine is not really a libido enhancer per se, but it's gonna increase blood flow, right? A precursor to nitric oxide, and blood flow is great for males and females. So let's talk about some of the different therapies we offer with these ingredients. The first one, Superman and Wonder Woman's. So these can be made with sildenafil or tadalafil, just at different dosages for males and females. If you're on home replacement therapy already, we can also add micronized testosterone to these. And that will increase the effect for you to be able to go longer, okay? With sildenafil or tadalafil, you'll have great blood flow on the vascular system, increasing libido. But for that extra energy in the second or third round, that's where the micronized testosterone comes into play, okay? The next one, and this is one of my favorites, is Cupid's candy. Cupid's candy combines three main ingredients. It increases oxytocin, it includes tadalafil, it also includes PT-141. So PT-141, like we talked about before, increases libido by the nervous system. Tadalafil increases libido by the vascular system increasing blood flow down the extremities. And oxytocin is that bonding hormone bringing you guys closer together. So when you combine these three awesome different ingredients, you guys are getting the ultimate libido enhancement. You're getting the vascular system, you're getting the nervous system, and you guys are getting that bonding hormone. What could be better than that, right? Our next one, our Ironman therapy. This is for maximum blood flow and maximum performance for you guys. This has sildenafil and has arginine. So we know that sildenafil already works in the vascular system and increasing blood flow with arginine is just gonna make it that much better, okay? For maximum performance for you guys out there. So these libido enhancers are great for males and females and will definitely help you guys step up your game in the bedroom. 
And who doesn't like to be the best, okay? You might not need these, right? You might not say, I might not, I don't need libido enhancement. I'm just, I'm that good, okay? But who doesn't want to step up their game for their partner? It might be a special day like an anniversary or a Valentine's Day, or it might be a new partner. You just want to impress them. You know what they say about first impressions? They're lasting impressions. So if you guys want to become a patient and take advantage of these great libido enhancement therapies, it's real simple and easy. Just call or text 727-389-3220. Let Titan Medical Center take you and your partner to Mount Olympus today. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I'm down here in Tampa, Florida at Titan headquarters out of our state-of-the-art facility here in Channelside. That's right, downtown. So we have this beautiful facility. We wanna make sure our patients got the best care and best service possible. So we had to have the best, right? But I wanna take you on the outside of the building and maybe show you some things that will motivate you, hopefully, to get on your own health and wellness journey with Titan Medical Center. So follow me, guys, let's go outside. What steps are you taking to progress in your health, fitness, and even immunity these days, right? Our goal here at Titan Medical Center is to help you achieve long-lasting, healthy results, whether it be weight loss, lean muscle mass, or just want a better quality of life. So along with these different things, have you guys ever had vitamin or amino acid injectables? They're great. Higher absorbency, fastest transportation rate you're gonna get, and great results, and that's the key. And like I said, are you ready for your results? Well, you gotta be ready to get some results, but the first thing you do is you need to contact us. We can help you guys rejuvenate yourself. We can also help you in all aspects of your life, from mental aspects to physical aspects, to even stepping up in the bedroom, right? We're focused on your health 24-7. We want to make sure that we are giving you guys the proper care at the best possible service that we can offer. We also have new IV drips. So if you guys are local or you guys are flying in, please come on down and get an IV drip. You guys can do multiple different things of nutrients, amino acids, vitamins, super antioxidants, and a lot more. And it's not an easy journey, but we're going to be there for you in all the situations that you guys are gonna go through. We've been doing this for nine years. So we can help you guys navigate through this journey of health and wellness for yourself. Time travel rejuvenation detox, glutathione. It's a super antioxidant. It's great for the immune system. It's great for free radicals and a number of different other things. And if you guys are thinking, hey, listen, I'm having other symptoms of possibly issues that I don't know, it could need bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for males and females. So if you guys are interested in any of these services that I talked about or want to be a, a part of the Type Medical Center family and help your journey for health and wellness, then call us today, 727-389-3220. You can also text that number if you guys are always on the go like I am. If you want to check it out later, TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm John from Titan, and I'm looking forward to you to become part of the Type Medical Center family. Hey guys, are you looking for maximum performance, maximum blood flow, and maximum results? Well look no further, our Iron Man therapy is specifically designed for you guys. So what's in our Iron Man therapy? It's real simple, there's two main ingredients. The first one is sildenafil, that's a generic for Viagra. 
It uses the vascular system to push blood down to the lower extremities. We also have arginine in there, which is a precursor to nitric oxide, increasing even more blood flow for better performance. So, if you guys want to use the Ironman therapy and become a patient, it's real simple and easy. Call or text us at 727-389-3220. Show your partner what a superhero you can be in the bedroom. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner, Valentine's Day edition, right? <laughs> so, you know, if you guys are watching this right now, it's Valentine's Day, and you guys should be with your loved one, showing them much appreciation on this great day of St. Valentine, right? I mean, this is a big day for us guys out there to show our women how appreciative we are of them. Yep. And for them to show how appreciative they are to us. Yep, works right? both ways. It works both ways. It's definitely a, a two-way streak when it comes to this. Or ladies and ladies or guys, guys, however you guys do it out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's 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 a it's a, it's a new world. So, <laughs> <laughs> so whoever it is, you do you. But on this day, it, it goes for everybody. So it doesn't matter who you're with or what it is. But at this, you know, on this day, you really want to do something special, right? And sometimes people think that special, you know, they, they think that means a lot of money, right? Because something you do special is usually a lot of money. Uh, but no. it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, okay? And on this day, you want to do something just, like, really cool. Something that your partner would, would enjoy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and something that would be kind of memorable. You mm -hmm. know, every year you want to do something that's... You know that's more memorable than last. It's it's kind of hard to keep up with those things. Yeah, especially you know, the guys out there. You know that you can't keep stopping at that same stand <laughs> on the way home to get the same exact bouquet of flowers. I mean, you could change it up, make different colors. Get the pink ones. Get the white ones. Google it. See what each one of the colors mean. Because I know they mean something. Yellow. All these yeah, different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just switch it up a little bit. You know, yeah. I know you still stop at the stand on the way home, uh. but. You know. <laughs> so, listen, guys, there's nothing wrong with stopping at the stand if that's your in your budget. Hey, listen, it is what it is. So work with your budget. That's the first thing. Like, don't over overcompensate or don't put your hat where you can't, you know, don't hang it where hang you can't, hat, you know, where you you can't, can't reach, reach it. Oh. So at that point, you know, don't go crazy. But, listen, if you want to spend a little bit extra money on this, I'm sure your partner will appreciate it, um, especially if you don't do it a lot. You know, this is the one day you know, unless you have an anniversary, that it's the one special day. It's the one day where you need to be romantic to a certain extent. You gotta show that love, okay? And that, that could be in any way, shape, or form. That could be, you know, emotionally. You could write them a card, you can buy them something, like flowers, okay? And with flowers, I always give this advice. <laughs> Listen to your partner. So if you've been with them for a short amount of time, you can you can't really go wrong with getting roses. There's very minimal people out there that don't like roses. Okay, so roses are always a good fit. Usually, if they say they like another flower, though, I would definitely get those flowers. I, w I would listen to them. Like, listen, I, I listen to you. I know you like this flower a lot, and that's why I got it for you. Yeah. Right. And make they, sure you listen. Yeah, very sure, very good. Because sure. I know I told John when I first met him, I actually don't eat chocolate. I hate chocolate. Just about to bring that up. I hate chocolate. I don't just dislike it. Like, the smell of it is repulsive. So, for this particular holiday, John has never gotten me chocolate. No. Thank goodness. No. <laughs> but that is a go-to, okay? The chocolate, because there's not many people like Sharice out there that don't like chocolate. Yeah. You know, I think she was one of the first people I've ever met that did not like chocolate. It just, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, you know how good chocolate is? Like, you know how many things have chocolate in it? Like... It's just crazy, oh, right? Good. Um, you know, it, it, especially good chocolate, you know, dark Godiva. chocolate. Godiva. This know? guy likes Godiva. Gosh, man. I mean, you're missing out on a lot of good things with that. But, good thing I'm not eating it because it's keeping me skinny. But, it, you know, dark <laughs> chocolate is proven to, to increase mood, right? And that's why, you know, a lot of people do eat it. Isn't it like uh, an aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac to a certain yeah. extent. I know women like to eat it because, you know, if they're on their their period and stuff like that, it, it definitely helps them through those times. Mm -hmm. um, so listen, I listen to your partner. Now, there's not going to be many people like Cherie, so usually <laughs> chocolate is a go-to. Nobody's like me. All right? It's fine. <laughs> there's a go-to for that. So the next thing is get them a little stuffed bear. I know I talked about this in a different segment about getting the three things. That's, you know, the, the, the flowers, <laughs> the card, and the bear. The or bear. some sort of animal. They like another the animal. animal. <laughs> get them an animal. 
I mean, you can even shop online nowadays. It's just crazy. You can literally go to Walgreens and they have so many different animals on the shelf. Literally, you could just grab one. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. And you know what? Even so, I'll give you even, I'll, I'll even go even further. Say you work all day. You, you can't stop by Walgreens, right? Instacart. Instacart will bring you a bear. Yep. Yep. It won't it? Yeah. Yeah, Instacart. You just go on there and just buy it. Yep. And it'll, they'll bring you a bear. I they'll mean, shop at CVS, all these yeah. different places. Yep. So you guys really have no excuse for No these excuses. Things, right? um, you know, if, if you haven't got anything and then today's Valentine's Day, you better go out and get something quick. Mm, and there's yeah. a lot of places where you can go out and get something quick. Hurry, run. Make sure it's a little special. And then if you have to go out and get something quick, <laughs> the trick to that is, and I said this in a different segment, get the card. Write something <laughs> nice in the card. Get something that expresses you. Yeah, don't write just write your name, even your if there's feelings. something nice in there. Because you really, you get this card, it has this really nice like saying in it, and it says all these cool, nice, sweet, very touching things. And then you just write, John. Don't do that. Don't do that. Or love John. Yeah. Don't do that. Just just don't do that. I mean, at least write, like, I love you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Like, in your handwriting. Right. So it still came from you, kind of, not right. like Hallmark. Right. Hall, Hallmark delivered the card. Right. It's weird. You know, give it you, whatever your little cute name is you might have saying there. But, like, listen, I love spending all my time with you, especially on Valentine's Day or whatever it may be. Don't take my lines. But... <laughs> Get your own. Get something that might be, you know, special or it might be coming from you. Um, so that that's the one thing. Throw that spin on there if you have done that. Next year, obviously, is a whole different ball game. Um, and, and there's different things out there you guys can get. Like the big teddy bears that are like six feet tall. You can get them from like 40 bucks or something like that. Where are you like going to put that thing? Who cares? Get it for the day. It's get the it wow the factor. Day. It's the wow factor. Do you think that, I mean, unless you're giving oh Venus to Fleur flowers that last for a year, right? That's if you're getting regular that. flowers from like a Publix or a Sideshow Bob guy on the side of the street. Sideshow Bob. Um, <laughs> you know, it's the wow factor. So if you get that big bear, true, true. listen, it's 40 bucks, dude. Give it to some kid later on. Donate it somewhere. True. Who cares? Yeah. Maybe she'll keep it in her room and sleep with it every night. Yeah, kick and you that, out. That kind of knocks your place yeah, out. I was but, gonna say. but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So it's just a wow factor. Like, oh my God, it'll be great for a picture. She might like Instagram and post it on there. <laughs> <whatever it is. laughs> so just do that, oh right? But I mean, listen, there's other things that you guys can do too as well. I mean, well, listen, also, I'll go back to uh, 2008. Wow. 2000, whatever. So back then, right? And we didn't have any money, literally, no money. Um, so, you know, when Valentine's Day came around, what I did was, um, I cut out these little, these little coupon things, right? I found one the other day, actually. <gasps> yeah, we should show it to them. I don't know if I have it. Yes, I, I mean, I hear, obviously. I'm saying, but... we just, we'll send a picture and we'll, we'll upload okay. it. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cute. But no, you made these little coupons and on the coupons, you can write something cute. Like, you know, a uh, free one hour massage, like yep. redeem through the hours of 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Don't write that. Or maybe there's something more adult-like. <laughs> something, you know, a little bit more, you know, sexy. So, yeah. you know, there's a, you can be creative about it. It's not always comes down to the money. Right. It doesn't come down to right. that. You can do that. You can make your significant other dinner, you know, whatever it might be, and have a nice romantic dinner just the both of you. Yep. Um, it could be it could be a numerous amount of things that you guys can do. Absolutely. You know, to Absolutely. make it special. It just depends where you're at in the country. I talked about that, too. So, I mean... You're here in Florida, you got beautiful weather, you can pretty much do anything you want. I mean, yeah. you know, on Valentine's Day, I mean, you can go to the beach if you really want to because it's that nice of weather. You guys go down there, you guys maybe have a picnic in there, which I really wouldn't recommend having a picnic on the beach. The reason is because <laughs> sand. You don't want sand in your mouth and like chewing grit and, and sandpaper, you know. Everybody the thinks the birds come for your food. <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> birds of prey will they be coming come. for you, they flocking will, on you. They will come for that food. That's right. They want they <laughs> want those be, eats. This will turn into a very non romantic thing for you like this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you do not want your date running down the beach. You know, with a with a chicken. That leg was in my, her brother, hand. my brother, my brother, my brother. We got chasing after, this, like ah. This is when, yeah, it was when he was little. He had a little. We had a little KFC bucket of chicken on the. On the I know. This is like my, my. This is where I grew up from, right? So, anyways, KFC on the beach, and you know, he grabbed a chicken leg and he he starts walking with it, and then like I guess these birds start coming, and he took the you know the chicken wing and he's holding it up and he's running with the chicken, and all the birds are following him and I'm like drop the chicken drop the chicken <laughs> so ever since I saw that go down we're not going to be eating on the beach don't be that person on the <laughs> beach okay 
So, but listen, if you guys aren't in sunny Florida, whatever it is, you guys can do the romantic dinner inside. You guys can do all different types of things. Like I said, like a little getaway vacation. I said this beforehand in a different segment where you guys plan a little thing to the hotel or whatever it is. Because today's Sunday, right? It's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you might have to work tomorrow. You know, maybe you guys did something last night mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day, like pre-Valentine's Day, and kind of beat the crowds. Because, I mean, listen, it, it falls on this day, right? But you guys can celebrate the day before. It's really about you guys spending quality time together, mm -hmm. showing each other that great emotion, um, and increasing your bond, I guess, you know? I mean, every year should get better for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys should learn more about each other and become closer. Mm -hmm. And if you guys aren't, now's the time to start getting back in track and in tune to each other mm -hmm. so you guys can start growing back together instead of apart. 100%. You don't want that. Um, and take these days, uh, they're, they're very special memories you guys can take photos. You guys can upload them to Facebook. And the next year, you guys see these awesome memories. Comes up again, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's cool. It really is. So, you know, hopefully you're with your partner in a long period of time or next year. Uh, yeah, next, yeah. Thing, next year your, your thing pops up. You're like, oh, let me not show my new girlfriend that picture. <laughs> I'm not sharing this again. <laughs> not sharing that. Back to the archives. <laughs> So, yeah, so, I mean, these are just some tips and tricks for me and Sharice. And, you know, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. If you don't have a loved one or everything out there, listen, there's plenty of websites and all like that. I'm sure you can find a partner out there yeah. or a date. Or your so, dog. That's fine, too. Uh, or just spend time with yourself. You know what? Love yourself for the day. Yeah. You don't need somebody for today. Yeah. You know, some people, they have to, oh, I have to have somebody for Valentine's Day. Or I need a date. I, I especially see girls do that. And I don't know it's because, you know, they just... They need the security factor. They have a date that day, and they can tell their friends or loved ones or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They want a free meal, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, and Pre guys can do does. the exact same thing, so I'm not saying one way or the other. Free food's always um, good. You know. It tastes better when it's free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm terrible. <laughs> so, listen, guys, just make it a special day one way or the other <laughs> with your loved one, right, or by yourself, you know. Pamper yourself, that's what it is. Pamper your loved one. Do something really, really cool. Yeah. And if you're seeing this now, you still got time to make reservations, yep. to go yeah. do something. Somebody has something open out there, so go do something with your loved one. Hurry. Take the advice. You guys, if you guys ain't got those gifts, go get them now. For you girls, men deserve a gift too. It's not just your day, so go and get them something too. Chocolates, underwear, that's a big one. Who doesn't like underwear, even if they don't wear it? I know I've gotten John underwear before from Walgreens or something with hearts on it just because it looked cute, you know? So just be creative and get them something, too. It's not just your day. Yep. And make sure you guys show each other a lot of love in the nighttime. So. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys need help after this, you guys can always use our Cupid's Candy. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome therapy to get both of you guys to the next level a pure pleasure. Mm -hmm. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this is another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. See you then.